Hey, what's up? David here. Welcome to Cleaning Out the Shed. The year is 1994. That was the year this guy got married. Ooh, a long time ago. Um, and uh, this is a band called Orange Nine Millimeter, and the song's called Failure. Now, back in 1994, they were calling this music post-hardcore, which I think meant something about more like hardcore music becoming a little more commercial, so to speak. Um, and this is one of the bands from New York that came out of there. And I'm looking forward to cleaning out this shed and checking them out. Let's go. Howie, roll it. You never knew, cause I swear you never tried. Huh. Seems like you're facing a hole for you to hide, so. So was it good for you? I like how the intro was like a like a uh, lo-fi version of them playing. And all of a sudden, it kicks into like hi-fi stereo, and uh, I think the the ver the difference between the verse and the chorus is really cool. I like the there's a ba cool bass riff. Um, I like this so far. I could see that it's post hardcore. I have no idea what that means. So, you know, Rage Against the Machine kind of comes into my mind as a possible influence of these guys. I like that. Whatever the bass riff is, and then they go on the on the chorus. They go to G minor, F, E flat. And then from that, from the E flat, they go back to the only a half step away. I like that. So they just go up a whole step from that, from the D to the C, they go from E to D. Like Hendrix did that. Um, change there. I like that. I could see 
see how this band might have also been an influence on some of the bands we've been checking out on uh, on the reaction series. Um, the bands that have kind of more like uh, power driven, electric guitar driven, edgy sounding music, but the vocal is not as uh, that's crazy. What are some of those bands like Varsity? Maybe is one of the bands we've been checking out. Um, yeah, maybe a little Bring Me the Horizon. I'm not sure. Go back to the original. There's so many ways to take a guitar solo. That one was more like with a little riff here and there. Um, I wouldn't say that it was as much of a solo which just was like kind of an instrumental section featuring guitar a little bit. There wasn't like a you know crazy amount of notes. It was just a cool little instrumental break. Yes, this is when MTV was still happening. Remember when all those reality shows were on MTV? I think that was, what was that reality show on MTV that was going on? That was the the real world. That's when that was happening, right? Around this time. Yes, it's kind of funky. And then we wind on down the road Saddle stronger than our soul Everything influences everything. Anyway, I really dug that. That was fun. Um, you know, in the mid-90s, I was two years out of college. I was living in New York. I went to school in New Orleans. Jazz was my entire world. I didn't grow up only on jazz, but at that point, I was, that's all I listened to. That's all I played. That's, you know, so I missed guys like this. And it's fun to go back and check them out. Um, I dug it. I thought it was cool. Um, and I wonder what you guys thought, like, you know, fans of this band who were, who were watching this way in here. Tell me a little bit about them. Let me know a little history. Don't make them too long. You know, the comments that are like this long, I only skim. So just give me a little bit of a tidbit. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cleaning Out the Shed. It's a fun new series for us. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Um, and leave comments. Please do. I read them. Most of them the ones that are a little bit shorter, I read. Have a very musical day. <laughs>